Hi, I'm Jill Foster and welcome to your next PB&J card class. Today we will be making a one layer card, so we'll be making the yellow card in the center. And I'll be using stamps from Penny Black's newest release, Bloom, using Petal Power and then also Sunny Hello. I'm also incorporating the Pinwheel Creative Die and the Twirl Stamp as seen here, as well as Music Background. So to begin, I'm starting with a piece of Nina Solar White cardstock. I wanted a really smooth piece of cardstock. And I've die cut Penny Black's Creative Die Pinwheel, put some adhesive on the back. I patted it on to my sweatshirt just to take off some of the adhesive so I can easily remove it. And I'm going to put this down on my cardstock. I'm going to use that as a mask. Next, I'm taking my Pan Pastels, and I'm going to apply them with a sponge. And I wanted to use Pan Pastels here because they they are a very thin, dry layer of medium, and I'm able then to layer my stamping on top of that without losing the color of the stamping. And you'll see that as we get further along. I'm adding in just a little touch of pink there to give it an orange quality. I like to mix a couple of colors on the background so it has more depth, especially when working on a one layer card. So you'll see there I've added some white, and then I'll go back with the yellow. Now I'm going to take um, a Versamark ink and also my Penny Black Twirls stamp. And when you stamp with Versamark onto a background that's been colored with Pan Pastels, when you add the same color back on top, the image, the part that you'd stamped, is darker. And you'll see that here. So I'm just going to ink that with Versamark and stamp it, sorry for my head there, stamp it along the right hand side of the card. And now I'll take that same yellow pan pastel and go over the top. And you can see there where you get that beautiful image. Now I'm also going to pat that Versamark ink around the edges of the cardstock. And that's going to do the same thing. Wherever that ink is, it's going to be darker when I apply the pan pastel on top. This gives it kind of a painted, distressed edge. Now I'm going to do a little bit more stamping. So this is Penny Black's music background. And I'm using Memento ink in the color of peanut brittle. I'm going to apply that to the stamp, take a baby wipe and remove some of the excess ink, then take my card and lay it across that stamp. Rub with one hand while holding with the other. And you get a background that's not perfectly stamped. I wanted some of it to show and some of it not to show. Now I'm going to carefully remove that creative die that I used as a mask. And I'm going to be stamping on top of this background. So this is Penny Black's new stamp, Petal Power. I love this set. It's got some great solid and some outline images. And now I'm going to use Memento Lux ink. And this is the color of Olive Grove. And I'm going to ink up my stamp and stamp onto that background. Now the Memento Lux ink has a nice, heavy, juicy texture. and what is great is when you do that on the pan pastels, sort of sits on top of the pan pastel and you can get that green color even though you're stamping onto a yellow background. So I've stamped the bottom part, the stem, and I let that sort of extend over to that white masked area. And now I'm going to do the flower. So I'll take the, pick my flower here. I'm kind of looking for sizing and how it fits on there. I'm going to ink this up with Memento Lux inks, ink in the color of Lilac Posies. I'm going to ink up the entire image. And then I'm going to take rhubarb stock and just apply that at the very top of the flower. Just some for a little bit of shading. And then I'll go back with the Lilac Posies and just lightly pat it to blend those two together on the stamp. And then I'm going to stamp that onto my card. Now this is that Lilac Posies ink that we used to stamp the flower. I pressed it onto my acrylic block and I'm just spraying that with water. I'm going to pick it up with a paintbrush and just flick it onto my background. Once that's dry, this is Memento Lux in the color of Peanut Brittle. And I just wanted to give that background a little bit more of a painted look and also tone down that twirl stamping over on the right hand side. So I'm just pressing the ink pad directly to the paper 
and applying that around the edges. And then I just blended a little bit there with my finger. I got a little bit more than I had intended. And I'm ready to stamp my sentiment. This is from Sunny Hello. And I'm just going to position that there. Sorry, another good shot of my head <laughs> onto my card within that masked circle. So now I'm also going to take that Lilac Posies and just apply a touch of that on a few portions of the edges. And this will tie into the stamping of the flower. Now I'm taking the Tuxedo Black ink and I'm just using the a eraser, so the eraser on my pencil. And I'm just going to press that onto the card. I wanted to add a little extra dimension behind the pearls that I'm going to add. So now I'm going to take my pearls. I just colored white pearls with a Copic marker um, so that they were black. I pretty much only buy white pearls and then I color them with my alcohol ink markers. And I'm just putting them onto those circles I made with the eraser. So giving those a little extra dimension. And then I'll add a couple of pearls here and I'm just deciding on placement that are by themselves so they don't have that darker shadow behind them. So here's a look at that finished card. I followed these same techniques and used the same mediums to create two other versions just using different colors. And here's a peek at those. Thank you so much for watching. For details and more information, visit the Penny Black website, www.pennyblackink.com, and there's a complete list of supplies at the end of the video.